Hello, this is Guy Barker here, and I'm going to give a quick demo of creating a custom speech model using the Azure Speech Service. And why might you do that? Well, using a custom speech model, that might help uh, provide more accurate speech to text functionality to have speech recognition if a default uh, speech to text service doesn't generate the accuracy uh, you need. Okay, so the first thing you do is make sure you've got uh, an Azure account. And one way you can do that is to create a free Azure account at azure.microsoft.com. Having done that, you would go to what's called the Azure portal, which is portal.azure.com, and you would create a new speech resource at the portal. So I have just invoked the create a resource button. And when an edit control comes up here, I will search for speech uh, and speech appears in the list and I will now get things set up to create a speech resource with which I can perform things like speech to text, text to speech and um, other things. Okay here we go and I'll call this my speech uh, well, resource and I'll pick a location near where the service will be used Pricing tier, I'll call it, I'll pick a free one, F0. Resource group, yes, just put it in a um, some group. And I'll invoke the create button. Okay, uh, Azure, the Azure portal is now setting up this resource for me. And it's there. So I have now created a speech resource and that's all I need uh, to do at the Azure portal uh, as part of setting up the use of a custom speech model. Having done that, then I go to a website called cris.ai and this is where I'm going to actually create the custom speech model. Uh, and what I'm going to do in this quick demo is only um, create a custom speech model based on some recordings of speech that I've made. Um, so I'm going to create an acoustic model from those recordings. Uh, I could also provide words and phrases uh, that I think are more likely to be used uh, in, in um, my situation. Um, and that can help with the, um, the accuracy of recognizing those words and phrases, uh, particularly when the word or phrase uh, uh, involves some words that aren't in uh, common usage, perhaps medical terms, chemical terms, other sorts of things like that. And I could also include pronunciation data, which can help if the uh, speech recognition consistently recognizes some word or phrase in a way that you don't want, but it sounds very similar to the word or phrase that uh, you do want. You can actually uh, say, uh, you can help, help things along there by uh, providing pronunciation data. But for today, I'll just do uh, acoustic data. And there are some great Azure resources um, on how to how to um, um, get the best results from the custom acoustic uh, model or language model or pronunciation data you provide. So you, you would want to take a look through those as well. But for today, all I'm going to do is uh, upload some custom uh, acoustic data based on speech recordings and create a model from that. So I will invoke the import button next to a custom, oh, sorry, next to acoustic data set. I'll call it my uh, acoustic data, anything I want. Uh, okay, now the transcriptions file, what the transcriptions file and the audio files is, that's the data I'm going to upload, so I'm going to switch to that now. Okay, and so uh, the audio files that I upload, basically I have a folder here full of recordings that I have made for my own speech. Uh, this is just a test set. Uh, you might well have potentially hundreds of, of recordings of speech here uh, to get the best results. And having got those um, WAV files, I then zip up the folder containing them, and that zip file is something I'll upload. And also there's a transcription file, which basically has the name of a um, uh, one of the WAV files, uh, which is uh, a recording I've made, and then the text equivalent uh, of that recording. And so basically the uh, custom acoustic uh, model will be trained using this data. Okay, so I will upload those now. First transcriptions file. And 
and I'll select the zipped up audio files and then I invoke the import button now then the um, site here shows that um, I have now I'm now, now in the process of setting up an acoustic data set and it's, it says a status well it did say status of not started now it says a status of running and the idea is um, I come back to this when the status has changed Okay, so that took about 20, 30 seconds or so. Uh, probably will take longer for you if you've got lots and lots of data. But it does say it has succeeded, so I'm good. So having uploaded that, data, that acoustic data, I'm then going to invoke the Acoustic Models tab towards the top here. And then say Create New, invoke the Create New button to create a custom model. Acoustic Model, so I'll call this my... Um, recordings whatever I want Re recordings um, and uh, I will say I want the acoustic data to be used on uh, with this model to be uh, the one I've just uh, loaded oops in fact I'll call it my acoustic model okay I can call it anything you want I tend to use the scenario of the most um, recent available which in this case is a 3.3 okay and then I invoke the create button so now Azure is going to um, train a, a model, a machine learning model based on my acoustic data. And it currently it says not started, so we wait for that status to change uh, and ultimately for it to change to succeeded. Okay, and there the acoustic model um, has been trained. The status has changed to succeeded. And that actually took around just over 20 minutes. And the first 15 or so of those minutes, the status didn't change at all. It stayed at not started. So even if it stays at not started for you for a while, I think you just have to leave it and wait and see what happens. Okay, having created the acoustic model, I'm not going to create a language model for this test. I'm not going to set up accuracy tests, uh, which uh, I think for you, you, you might well be interested in. All I'm going to do is make this model available to an app by going to the endpoints tab. Okay, and I'm going to create a new endpoint. So I'll invoke the create new button. I will call it my acoustic endpoint. I can name it anything I want. Um, okay, I'll stick with the defaults of one concurrent uh, recognition. Um, I'm not particularly interested in logging for this test. Okay, now the scenario, uh, the acoustic model that I created use the scenario of 3.3 uh, so if I change this to 3.3 uh, then uh, the acoustic model I've just created becomes available to me so I'll uh, make sure this endpoint uses that model and a language model of the default one I'm going to say accept the uh, terms and invoke create okay and then um, the status now of this new endpoint is currently not started so uh, I wait until that status changes. It's now changed to running, uh, and after a while, it will hopefully change to succeeded. Okay, that actually only took a, what, a five seconds or so. That's pretty good. And it says succeeded, so I'm good to go. So now I need to get the details of the endpoint that's now available to an app. So I'll invoke the details link there and uh, scroll down and this is where uh, the details are that an app would need to access this um, uh, custom speech model I've just created so I'm actually going to switch to an app now I've got a test app that I've built to uh, access a custom speech model so the first thing I do here is go to the settings and I put the uh, web address of the custom model I've just created in that app I'm going to pick the uh, first link here which gives me up to 15 seconds of recording copy that paste it in in this test app and the key used to access this custom speech model I'll put that in as well and that is that so I'll save that and then I'll test it out the two of diamonds 
Okay, that was recognized, okay. The three of hearts. Yeah, three of hearts, recognized, okay. Didn't get the three at the beginning. But these phrases are ones that um, were in the, that um, acoustic data that I uploaded to create the model. And if I want to, I can invoke the settings button and say, I want to show, I want to know about the confidence that the custom model has in its predictions when it displays the result. Seven of diamonds. Okay, uh, so successfully recognized seven of diamonds and gave a confidence of around 88%. So that was a quick demo of how to create a custom speech model using the Azure Speech Service and how to test it out in this uh, test app. Thank you.